Hey guys, just Janny. Today I want to show you how I made my fortune cookie necklace out of a spoon bowl. So um, start with one of the soup spoons or I guess they're also called gumbo spoons. Anyway, it has to be round. I had tried it on this one because I thought it might be round enough. It is not. They, I've done several, I'll show you here, my mistakes, when I was trying to figure it out and it has to be round or it won't work. So this is the first one I did and this was a regular spoon. I think it was probably a little more pointy than this one. And what happened is the side that had the handle, the thick side, even though I marked in the middle for my fold, it slid over to the weaker side, so it was uneven. And then this end was small compared to this end. This was thick and didn't really want to bend, and this one bent too easily. So you can see there why that didn't work out. And then, like I said, I had tried this spoon because it was more round than the other and this is one just like it, the same thing happened. It was too hard on one side and too weak on the other and just didn't work out. But the ones I made from a perfectly round spoon bowl came out even each time. This is the thick end and you can see I mean obviously the opening is a little bit bigger but it I think it still looks good and makes a good fortune cookie. One other thing before I show you how to do it is I know a fortune cookie actually these points would come all the way together at the top but you can't do that with this because it will pull this open and just smashes it up. So. Uh, that's why it's not completely closed on that. Okay, so first thing I did was I annealed my spoon, which this one's already been done. Next, I cut off the handle right at the base because we don't need any kind of edge. I just use my bolt cutters. Oops. Okay, so next I'm going to go over to the grinder, grind that, and smooth it. Okay, that's all ground off. Hit it with the fiber wheel to smooth it out. It's pretty round. Want it as round as we can. Um, and I did not flatten this. I'm leaving it just the way it is. I run mine in the tumbler, so I wanted to mention if you don't tumble, you might want to clean yours up now because once it's folded, it's a lot harder to get in there. So like this piece hasn't been run in the tumbler yet either. And you can see, well maybe you can see, it's a little bit dingy inside. I just polished the outside for the video. so. If you need to do that, go ahead. Um, next, I'm going to move over to my bender press and show you how I start my bend for this. Okay, I'm putting my biggest pin <clears throat> in this big deep groove. Um, and the first thing I'm doing, this is the handle side I'm laying it in that way and I just want to get the bend right down the middle to get started. And that's just all the way down as far as I can go there. So we have that and then I switch over to the smallest pin I have 
and this doesn't reach as far <coughs> excuse me I'll put a little ding in the center there probably should move to the middle and remember there's no rules for this just whatever works for you so if you have a better idea or something that works better for you go for it so then I'm gonna I just tip it a little get the sides kind of started We're kind of just making a taco to start. See it's starting to come together and you can tell that's the handle side because it's it's thicker. It doesn't want to come over as easily. So we got a pretty good even start there. So then I'm going to switch over to, I have a steel block and if you notice this is the one that comes with the kit. I find that is just too small for me. I like something bigger so you can get a bigger block if you like. That's, that's why mine's bigger. I, I purchased a different one. So on here, I'm just going to use the pin to press that together, just to get it a little closer than it is. I'll grab a little. I like to put a little piece of leather so I don't have big dents that I have to clean up later. So I know it's hard to see through my hand, as usual, but I'm just pressing down just to close that up. Actually, I think that's pretty good this time. So next step, I'll show you right here. I have my Sharpie and my ruler. Normally I'd go back over to my regular workplace, but it's a lot of work to change the camera to make one mark. So I'm going to try to do it here. Okay, so I put my ruler on it and find the middle. So this is a smidge over two inches, but we just need about the middle. And my forever dry Sharpie. So that's about the middle. Let me double check. Oh, I have it over a little too far. I'm going to fix my mark. Probably want it there. Okay, and it doesn't have to be precision, but we want it to bend in half in the middle. Let me find... Okay. Next, I'm using my bracelet block and the square pin. because that will make a nice sharp fold line and the bracelet block is wide enough to just catch both ends. Now let me warn you before you do it if you don't want to ruin yours. It puts a, a big gouge, I don't know if that shows up, in either end where where those ends are you can see it actually gouged in on mine uh, so just so you know it that can happen if you don't want to mess up yours obviously I am hard on all of my stuff so okay so next let me turn it so you guys can see that line better I'm not bending exactly on the line and here's why. The handle end is thicker. So obviously that end is thinner. This end wants to bend easy. The handle end is harder to bend. So 
this is the line I want it to go by. So I am actually going to put my pin down just this side of that line. And I know you can't see that now, but if I came out here, can you see instead of on the line, I'm just to the right of the line. And that is because of it being thicker and harder to bend there. So it's just easier if I put it a little to the thick side, it, it ends up in the middle. <laughs> so also we're not gonna go all the way. We're just gonna get it started because if you go too far, let me find one of the ones. Oh, no, you can't see it. Okay, I was looking at my messed up ones, but what happens is if you go, yes, these can get stuck too if you wedge it on there. So, um, if you go too far, this corner over here will also make a dent in it and so will this one and we don't want those side dents we just want the center so I might let me try get back in the middle here might do just a little more maybe we'll see no because it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna mark those sides and I don't want that so now, I'm going to use just my steel block, little piece of leather to keep it from slipping, and I am just going to use the flattening part on the ram to bend that until these two flat spots on either side of our center line touch. So if my hand's in the way and you can't see, that's what I'm doing. And please pay attention and go slow so you don't slip and smash your fingers. Okay, so uh, maybe I could go a little farther. I could get that to touch, but you see how it folds over itself. This side's a little more open than I wanted, but I think that's okay. Probably not every fortune cookie is perfect. I'll go a little bit further on this one. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so next I drill a hole in the top of the, I do it in the thick side where the spoon handle was, and I just use my 1 16th inch drill bit and drill that hole, and then it goes in the tumbler. So thanks for making that with me, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.